long veteran of the Everett Police Force has turned in his badge and his gun. He did that after an internal affairs investigation. King 5 News has learned it is his third investigation in a dozen years, all involving the same type of accusations. King 5's Chris Ingalls joins us live in Everett with the story. Chris. Gene, the brass here at Everett Police Headquarters has twice demoted and suspended Officer Robert Franklin after he was accused of having sex on the job and lying about it. Now comes this third accusation, and it is the one that has cost him his job of almost 30 years. Oh, just those ones over there, right? The owner of Janelle's Gluten Free Market on Evergreen Way took a strange phone call a couple of months ago from Everett Police. They were trying to figure out if two people had been in my store together on a particular date. Janelle Farnsworth had no idea why police were asking questions about what her security cameras might have recorded. My video did not go back as far as they needed it to. Only today did she learn that Everett Police were investigating one of their own. In October, the department received a call from the angry husband of a checker at this Everett grocery store. According to internal documents obtained by King 5, he said a uniformed Everett police officer was courting a romantic relationship with his wife, and he believed at a minimum they engaged in kissing. Officer Robert W. Franklin worked uniform security at this store for many years. Both he and the woman denied there was any sex, and Franklin denied he had much interaction with her. Investigators asked if he had a romantic relationship. No. Did you meet with her on duty? Nope. And that's what brought investigators to Janelle's. The woman admitted the pair met here once. The woman's credit card receipts show that she made purchases on that August day. Moments after, phone records show she talked with Franklin on his cell phone. In all, investigators found 84 cell phone calls between the two, evidence he met with the woman and talked with her often. The officer was found to have made some untruthful statements during the investigation, and uh, unfortunately, that is something that uh, violates the public trust, and the officer no longer works for our department. We need our police officers to be trustworthy. We need to make good decisions. If they're not making good decisions in their personal life, um, are they making good decisions in their professional life? Franklin resigned last month when it became clear the chief was about to fire him. He was uh, not fired. He kept his job after similar accusations in 2000 and 2010. The city of Everett says that he kept his job in 2010 because the uh, victim in that case refused to cooperate with internal affairs investigators. Now, Franklin would not comment about any of this when I reached him at his house in Everett today. I'm Chris Ingalls reporting live in Everett. Ooh. Ooh. Be okay. Ooh. At least give him an AMR or something. Jesus Christ. We're going to take care of you, man. QFC, Broadway, and Everett. Business as usual. If you're black and poor, you can get assaulted. And the cop does nothing.
At least give him an AMR or something. Jesus Christ. So this guy was her, requested an ambulance, requested assistance, and did an AMR video too. That's the cop right there who canceled an ambulance. Twice now. Twice, Twice already, now. like it's a cab. Who is admitted to canceling. That's the policeman who has admitted to canceling the ambulance for this gentleman who is in pain and has requested an aid car twice. No employees are helping out. When asked, the gentleman said repeatedly that employees and police did this to him. This is the QFC on Broadway in Everett. employees are helping out. When asked, the gentleman said repeatedly that employees and police did this to him. This is the QFC on Broadway in Everett. He has a wound in his It's okay, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Regardless, it's not good business policy that QFC lets somebody be in pain. It doesn't even do their damn job. 